YouTube. This is uh, MXC Reaper. Uh, I got a request from someone that wanted to uh, see how you actually install the mods. So I figured that I would show you that real quick. Uh, it really is actually pretty simple. First off, you need to go download Oblivion Mod Manager. This takes care of everything for you. You don't have to do, you have to do barely any work at all. Okay. Uh, to start off, uh, I have the private mobile tower of Hadrath. It's like a movable tower that you can have in the game. Uh, you can place it in a bunch of different spots and everything. So, uh, first off, you want to click create. If anybody didn't see that, it's create right here at the bottom. Uh, type in the the name of your mod. Okay. Uh, then you click add archive. I don't remember the author the author's name right now, but I do know I got it from TES Nexus. Uh, TES Nexus. It's TESNexus.com. That's where I get all my mods from. Um, that's where I get all my mods from. They're all, all of them are, are really good that I've seen so far that I've used are really good and they're, they're really, they're not very buggy. They're really taken care of. And I also recommend going and uh, downloading um, Ob Oblivion uh, uh, script editor, OBSE. Just type in Google OBSE and install download and install that and I'll show you guys how to access that in a minute but uh first off you want to you want to let's get back to this you want to go and you want to find your the mod that you save like where you saved it at in your in your folders and you want to double click on it it's, it'll take a second to load up as soon as it's done loading up see see how it appears here in the, the relative file from the file path area and then you want to click create OMOD I don't remember the author's name like I said it is sit here to compress. Uh, some of these take a long time, uh, like uh, this one uh, that I have, the Elsewhere of Antikia one. This one took almost 40 minutes. It's a whole new area in the game, so it's it's pretty big. It it took almost 40 45 minutes to to actually complete. So some of these may take a while. Um, okay, uh, another thing, I guess I can show you guys uh, how to actually access OBS. What you want to do is you'll you'll go and you'll, you'll download OBS from the internet. And you'll, uh, you'll, what you'll do is you'll take and you'll copy all these, control C, and you want to move them to your Oblivion folder in your uh, Oblivion folder, like right here. And then you just paste them in here with all these and, uh, what you do is from now on you will open Oblivion double clicking on the OBSE loader and that way whenever you download mods and install mods they run through the loader and it, it they run the script edits run differently because uh, in normal Oblivion with a normal EXE it won't run some of these mods so you need OBSE to run it um, then, then that's all you do uh, that, that's how I run mine is I open it from OBSE loader uh, see, and then uh, when when your OMD is done creating, it will uh, say OMOD created successfully. Then what you do is you find it in your list here. You double click on it. It will decompress. Make sure that the little square beside it turns blue. If it doesn't turn blue, there's probably a conflict with it, and you'll want to check. But this one will turn blue, and you go over here and you find it, and make sure it's checked over here make sure it's it's checked over here on so that way when you launch the the mod it, it actually go through um, you don't have to launch oblivion from this don't don't worry about this you can actually exit this if you want and launch oblivion from your uh, OBS e folder which is right here all you do is you just double click that you click run and it loads right up it's really simple mine's running a little bit slow today because uh, my computer's been acting up today for me, but and also I have the my Oblivion the way it's set up. I have so many mods on it. It's kind of starting to starting to backfire on me. I need to go run Boss. And if any of y'all don't know what that is, Boss. If you want to, you can go look up Boss on the online. It will actually set up the load order for your mods to where they run smoother and uh, they don't like glitch and bug out. And also, I mean, I have like eight skeleton minions protecting me so because uh, from the Morpheus City of the Dead mod so 
it will take a while for my game to load up because of that. I'm not exactly sure where the Hatterath Mobile Tower is, so I can't really show you, but I just kind of wanted to show you how uh, OBSE loaded up your game. Uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't actually make the game slower, it's, this is just really my computer and all the things that I have going on right now at this moment. Um, also, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure you download a cracked, a cracked version of the EXE. So you don't want to go. You don't want to use the original EXE. Uh, some people use like the No CD key EXEs. Those work. I have one on mine, just a regular No CD key EXE, and it works. So make sure you have a cracked EXE because the OBSC loader will not pick up on the original game's EXE. Uh, thank you guys a lot for watching. Uh, if anybody has any more questions, you can leave a comment below. Uh, thank you for watching.